everyone, Mr. Robinson here. We got our orange belt, white stripe techniques. We're gonna be going over first our action step from an action stance, okay? So we'll start in the tension stance, bow for respect. We're gonna get into our action stance. One, key up. So now, the action step is gonna set up our kicks from the rear leg. So we're learning how to move forward in this technique. So just by being here, my action stance is looking good. All I'm gonna do is just take that back leg up and just, I'm literally switching my feet but moving forward. So I'm just like this, I'm moving forward, I'm moving forward. Now I can do an action step backwards. Boom, boom, boom. Now when I do this, the only thing that, the only mistake that I don't want you to make is swinging this leg all the way behind me, just like that, okay? So if I'm here just like this, I'm just slide it up. My hands are switching, just like that. Hands are switching, and hands are switching. If I was here facing to the side, just like this, I'm in my action stance number one, all I'm gonna do is just step up and I switch. Switch, and you're gonna see this back foot turn. See that right there? My heel's up, I'm on the ball. That's what we call the pivot, okay? So watch, I'm here, I slide up, back foot pivots. Back foot pivots, just like that, okay? If I had to slide back, I could slide back, step back just like that, okay? That's our action step that's gonna help facilitate our round kick and our push kick uh, in a couple stripes down. Our second technique in our orange belt white stripe is gonna be the side body cover. We call this the chicken wings. So if I start at attention stance, bow for respect, go action stance number one, key up. Now our first one we did was what we call the straight body cover. That defends the straight punches. But if somebody happens to come around and hit us in the sides or a roundhouse kick tries to hit us in the sides, what I'm gonna do is I just take my chicken wing just like this and I just drop my elbow to my hip, just like this, chicken wing, chicken wing. I'm not reaching my elbows out like this. I'm not reaching my arms out. I'm just here, chicken wing, chicken wing. So if I had Coach Gears come in, <clears throat> good way to practice at home for you guys is if uh, Coach was here, he's in his action stance number one, hands are up just like this, and you, you, I'll, I'll do it too. I go, to, I slap him in the body, bang, 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 bang. Now, also too, remember review, if I punch straight, boom, boom, oh, I hit him in the side, bang, bang. That is our side body cover. All right, everyone, here we are. Uh, orange belt, gold stripe. Mr. Robinson teaching you guys rear leg push kick and rear leg round kick. So we'll start first. We'll come to attention. We'll bow for respect. We're going to get our action stance number one. Key up. Now from here, we're going to do the back leg push kick, okay? So everything is coming off the rear leg. That setup that we did earlier with the action step is gonna facilitate us, okay? So what's gonna happen here is I'm in my stance, I'm gonna bring my back leg, my knee up to my belly button straight, I'm gonna chamber my knee, and I'm gonna push my foot out. And remember when I'm doing this, I'm hitting with the ball of the foot, okay? That's the bottom of the foot, kinda like I'm gonna kick a door down. So my knee comes up, out, back, and down. So now, when we do this for the rear leg, I'm gonna actually step forward. Boom, and then I set it down. That's my action step. Boom, set it down. I'm coming all the way forward, baby. Bang, all the way up there, bop. Just like that with my action step, okay? My action, if I'm on the other side here, I'm facing this way, my rear leg, I'm gonna kick straight, and I'm gonna step back into my action stance number two. So I'm here, shh, 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 shh. Just like that, okay? The surface of this, if Mr. Gears brings a pad in really quick, Okay, we'll show you what it looks like when you're actually making contact, okay? So, Coach Gears has this pad right here. I wanna hit above my belt and above his belt, right in the center. So I bring my leg up here, just like that. I can set my foot down, or if we were sparring, I might kick and I bring it back, or I might kick and push through, okay? So those are the two basic variations, but the rear leg push kick is what we're doing. All right, our second technique is gonna be the rear leg roundhouse kick, okay? So we'll start at attention stance, bow for respect, action stance number one, key up. Now how this one's gonna work is I'm gonna kick with my rear leg, but this kick is gonna come across my body, just like this, it's gonna come all the way around. So we call this a roundhouse kick, we're bringing it in around. So here's my back leg. Now we did that action step, see that right there? This is where I wanna land, right here. But now I'm gonna add the kick onto here. So when I throw it, I bring my leg, my knee up, and 
gonna bring my foot across, just like this. Bop, and then I set it down. Now I'm in an action stance number two. Here, bop, hitting with my low shin. Shh, just like that, okay? You see me from the side here, okay? I'm in my stance, my back leg comes up. Shh, just like this. Shh, shh, just like that. Now, what's important about this technique, okay? I really need you to pay attention to my front foot. You're gonna see my toes, they're facing, they're facing this way. My toes are gonna spin that way. So I kick and I spin my toes, all right? We call that pivoting. You can't just throw this kick and keep your leg going like that. You're gonna hurt your hip and your knee, all right? So if I get Coach Gears real quick and he has a pad, we'll see what this looks like. The other thing is too, is we don't ever wanna drop our hands when we're kicking. So if he's got it set up for me here, I line up in the front, I'm gonna spin my toes when I kick, here, and I bring it back, and I bring it back. Now, I can kick and drop, and drop, or I can kick and pull back, and pull back, okay? And that is our rear leg roundhouse kick. All right, everyone, we're gonna do orange belt blue stripe, our self-defense stripe. This one is gonna be if somebody's actually trying to smack us in the face like this, or maybe step in and hit us with a bear hug, okay? So first off, we'll just start at attention, we'll bow. And now, if any, if I see, uh, we're teaching the kids, if somebody feels like they're aggressive, or to, let's say, the, our kids get pushed. So if I get pushed back, boom, my hands are up. Because you're only gonna get to push me one time, okay? So if I do get pushed, or if I feel uncomfortable because somebody's getting in my face, I'm gonna step back with my hands up just like this, okay? So once my hands are up here, all right, we're expecting that maybe a strike could come around this way or it could come around that way. So first we'll just practice just basically reaching out, just a basic uh, middle block, middle block, double, all right? One, two, three. So if I'm stances like this, my hands are up, fingertips are above my eyes, my hands are up. So here I'm going block one, Block two, block three. Block one, block two, block three, okay? So now, I bring in my coach, okay? If we're staying here, and let's say now, coach pushes me, my hands come up, I don't wanna be touched, right? If he swings a hand, block one, block two, and then on the third, block three, okay? So that's our first technique, all right? Let's do it again, hands are up, block one, block two, block three, okay? So now what we're gonna do is our follow-up move because what happens is for these guys, I don't wanna stay here. If I do get a good block, boom, I get hit with the other hand. We don't wanna stay here. So if he swings that hand, I go block one, then my hand's gonna reach out, touch his shoulder, and I'm just gonna come underneath, and I'm gonna get behind him. Here, he pushes me, boom, my hand's up, he hits me with the other hand. I block and I check, just like this. Block and check, I come underneath the arm, and I'm new here. Third one, he tries to grab me with both. I block and I check, I turn the car. So here, if you see this right here, like this, this is nine o'clock, this is three o'clock. I go 12 o'clock, six o'clock. I come underneath, and I keep looking at him the whole time, and I get behind him, okay? The mistake that everybody's gonna make is this. They're gonna turn like this, and then they're gonna come and duck under like that, okay? And they're gonna spin away. We don't want to spin away. I want to keep my eyes on him. Here, I do it. I keep my eyes on him just like this. And then I push him away and I'm in my stance. Okay, and this is our basic self-defense. So in my stance, I got block one, block two, double block. If I'm defending a haymaker, I'll block and check. I'll block and check or I'll double block and then I come underneath for that duck under. Okay, and this is basic self-defense. Hey guys, Mr. Robson here, along with uh, Coach Gears. We're gonna be working on our orange belt, purple stripe, which is our wrestling stripe, and we're gonna be working on pulling the guard, okay? So how this technique is gonna work is we're gonna be facing each other on our knees. I'm gonna reach across and get a double wrist control. I'm going to turn my feet to the outside, okay? Both feet pointing away. Then from here, I sit on my butt, and then I open my legs up as I pull him in and cross my feet and I give him just a good hug, okay? And I'm holding him nice and tight, all right? Now, what also might happen is, is Coach Gears might put his hands on my shoulders and he might be pushing me. 
And if he pushes me back, okay, so if he pushes me back, I might post my hand down, I turn my feet, and then I open my legs up, and I pull them in between my legs and give them a hug, okay? So that's a scenario that might happen. But how we're teaching the technique for our strike is I grab the wrists, I turn both feet, I open my legs up, I pull them in, and then I give them a hug, okay? So this is our basic pull the guard for our wrestling technique. Our second technique for this strike is gonna be what we call the kick away stand up. And this is for self defense, okay? So from here, if I'm sitting up like this, and let's say coach, uh, somebody pushes me down, he's pushing me down, and I turn my, and I pull him in between my legs, and this is where we end up. And I'm holding him here. Now, for self defense, this is really smart because if he was to try to hit me, if he's sitting like that, that's gonna hurt really bad. So anytime I pull somebody down, I wanna hold him nice and tight for self defense. Now, his hands, or on the push off the floor, let's say they start pushing off of me. He starts pushing me back. If he pushes back and his head comes up, well, what I wanna do is I'm gonna wiggle back and get my feet on his hips. Once my feet are on his hips, I'm gonna put my foot on his chest, double feet, and I'm gonna give him the old push away, and then I'm just gonna get up and get back, okay? And that's why we call this the kick away stand up, all right? So from here, from this closed guard position, in this tight position, if he starts pushing away from me, boom, my feet come up, get on his hips, I wiggle back, feet to his belly, push him back, get up, get up, get up, okay? Now, that's from a very tight situation. It could be he uh, he's here, I just push him back and my feet just go to there. I didn't do the whole tight part. I just go push away, boom, get up, get up, get up, okay? So that's what we call the kick away stand up. Hey guys, Mr. Robson here. We're doing our orange belt red stripe. We're gonna go over our first technique which is called the mount to back drill. So how this is gonna start out, I'm gonna have uh, Coach Gears is gonna lay down right here on the uh, bottom of the mount. And we're not, we're talking about the top guy right now. So. Um, so how this is going to work is the top guy, he's going to try and throw me off. So he can throw me this way, throw me that way, throw me overhead. So if he puts his like hands on my hips and tries to throw me to the side, I'm going to do what we call hook and brace. So I hook the mat and I brace onto the mat. He takes me to the other side, I hook and brace just like this. And then from here, I double brace and I'm hooking with my feet. I don't want to have my, I want to have my feet hooked onto his butt because if I don't, I'm going to just fly forward. Okay. So one more time on this, he takes me this way, hook and brace one, hook and brace two. From here, double brace. Now, person on the bottom, they might get frustrated, so therefore they might barrel roll to their belly. As this happens, I go two hands to the mat, and I kind of just let the weight off of him until he goes belly down. Once he gets belly down, I'm gonna stop, and I'm gonna pinch, and I'm remounting him, okay? But now when this happens, I'm gonna go one arm up under the armpit, one arm around the neck, and I'm gonna put my hands together. And I'm gonna get what we call a seatbelt grip. When I get the seatbelt grip, I'm gonna post my foot on the mat right here, and I'm just gonna pull him, until I get him just like this, and I get what we call back control. So now from here, I'm gonna take my hooks on the insides of his legs, and I have that seatbelt grip around him, all right? And I'm just holding, and holding, and holding, just like that, okay? So we'll do this position one more time. So if I'm on the mount, and he tries to roll to his side, here, as he does, I'm just gonna kinda let him go, and I'm gonna get that hook, and I'm gonna get his armpit, I put my foot on the mat, and I just kinda of roll him over, and I get my position right here, and I get my legs around. Now this position right to here is our, our back control with the seat belt, okay? Our second drill is gonna be what we call guard to back, okay? So how this is gonna work is I'm gonna start on my back, Mr. Gears is gonna be inside my legs. Now from here, he's got his hands on my belly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reach over two hands to one arm, and I'm gonna pull him forward to where his hands and elbows go onto the mat. Boom, just like that. See how his hands and elbows are on the mat? Now here, I'm gonna start wiggling out to the side, come up on my elbow. As I come up on my elbow, I'm gonna start coming up, I post my hands, and I pull my leg out, and I put it between his legs. Now he's still on his elbows over here, okay? I got this foot in between his legs, and I'm gonna kick on just like this. Now from here, I got both feet in between his legs. Now I'm posting my hand on the mat, 
I come underneath, I can grab my wrist, and then I'm gonna pull and we're gonna shoulder roll. And then from here, I'm gonna be back into that position again, okay? Let's try it one more time. So we're in the guard, he puts his hands on my belly, I grab one arm, I pull him all the way over to where his arms touch the mat. I start coming out to the side, I hug, post my hand, pull my leg out, I put it between his legs. This one comes over the top, his elbows are on the mat, I post my hand, and I'm sitting on his back. My free hand grabs the wrist by coming under the arm. I pull it in, I rotate, and I pull. And now, see my feet, they're still hooked around his legs, and I get my seatbelt grip. I am not crossing my feet, just like this, okay? So this is our seatbelt grip, back control, okay? All right, this is the last piece, and we're gonna teach you the escape to the back control, okay? So Coach Gears is gonna go ahead and get my back, just like this. All right, he's got his hooks in, and he's got a seatbelt grip, okay? So seatbelt grip, we really wanna pay attention to this top arm. This is the dangerous arm. So how we're gonna do this first is, I'm gonna put both of my hands on a hand. So I go to this hand and to this hand, okay? I got the top arm and the bottom arm, and I'm gonna put all my weight back onto him. So as I start pushing him back into like a bump, I'm going to try to break the grips of his hands. I break the grip of his hand, and then the hand that's over the neck is going to come over the top of my shoulder. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stretch it really long, and I'm going to push it down to the mat. As I push it down to the mat, you're going to see my whole body just rotate into him, and then I center up with him, okay? And this is our basic escape, okay? So from here, I'm going to do it from this side. He's got a seatbelt grip, one hand to the wrist, other hand to the wrist. I push him back, and I'm pinning him to the mat. I get this grip break, bop, hand over the top. I stretch it to the mat. Now from here, as I'm pushing with my hands that way, my feet and butt are gonna run this way. And then I center up. I'm in the biceps, just like this, and this is my basic reference point for the escape. All right, everyone, here we are. We're on orange belt, black stripe. This is our bullying stripe. So parents, we're gonna need a lot of help with this, okay? The thing that we wanna teach our kids, just like we, we focused on with our um, stranger stripe, was giving them something to say and something to deal with um, to be able to draw attention. And we've got a two parts to this. The first part is, is if somebody is picking at our, uh, your specific child, or two, let's say somebody's picking with another child and your child sees it, okay? So we're gonna start with our basic script, which is just stop, don't touch me, bully. And we're always gonna end with the word bully because nobody likes to hear that word. We're also uh, uh, anticipating that this might happen in school. So if our kids are saying the right stuff, we can get um, teachers and administration to be able to jump in immediately to help uh, break up a fight or break up a potential fight. But two, we need to teach our kids to be strong and firm and use a really strong voice with this, backed up with a good stance. So we're gonna stand just like this. Whatever this bully's saying to them, it could be, I don't like your hair, I don't like your nose, I don't like your shoes, um, whatever, it doesn't matter. It's gonna be, stop, don't touch me, bully. Now two, you gotta remember, they could be saying stuff, or two, they could be trying to put their hands on them. Let's just be really clear, don't touch me, period. So stop, don't touch me, bully. So the other thing about this is, is whatever that bully says and keeps following up, just keep repeating the same thing. Well, your, your shoes are dumb. Stop, don't touch me, bully. Stop, don't touch me, bully. And just constantly keep repeating and repeating. Okay, so that's phase one. Phase two is gonna be our child seeing somebody else getting bullied and maybe stepping up to somebody. This is gonna be the same script, we're just gonna change a word. Stop, don't touch him. Or stop, don't touch her, bully. Always following up with the bully. We wanna make sure that this person that's being mean to this other person knows what they are. So we're teaching that script of, hey, stop, don't touch her, bully. And being very firm and very loud and constantly just repping out this verbal technique. These verbal techniques are just as important as these physical ones, okay? 
So I want to make sure you guys, parents at home, are working with your kids, questioning them, saying things to them. They got to know what to expect. A lot of uh, children don't know what to expect, and they don't know that people are being mean to them. Okay? And I'm not saying I want you to be mean to your kid, but I want you to teach them what to expect instead of them just coming home upset. All right? Don't let them learn it the hard way. We've got the technology. We know how to do this. Let's talk with our kids.